For those of you who use a gimbal such as the Zion Crane and are looking for cool ways to use it, keep watching and I'll show you some of my favorite cinematic gimbal movements. The pullback shot. This one is basic and really easy to do, but adds a cinematic touch if you do it right. First, set your Zion Crane gimbal to lock mode so that it will be locked in the direction it is facing. I love showing movement in my clips. Shoot wide and slowly walk backwards. I like having a subject walk across the screen to add a different movement to the scene. The 360 spin. The 360 spin is one of my favorites as it shows the surrounding plus your subject as the main focus in the middle. You can do this in the pan and tilt mode by pressing the joystick twice. Try to keep the same distance from your subject the whole way around. The crane effect. Here's another cool one shot in lock mode. This one mimics a crane movement. You move the gimbal up and push the joystick down at the same time. You can also do it in reverse and get a similar effect going in a different direction. The reveal. Here's another easy one that I like using to reveal the location or the scenery. Shoot in the regular pan following mode and start off by facing down on the ground while you walk forward. Slow tilt the joystick up to reveal what's in front. The dolly slider shot. One of my most commonly used shots is the dolly slider shot. Basically it copies the movement of a slider by moving side to side, front to back or even in the diagonal direction. I use this often while moving past an object and use the draw mask effect on Final Cut Pro X to transition to another clip. There are tons of other ways you can use the gimbal. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite go-to move is.